and then boom, that's it. I go out on a, I go out on the set. But I have found an artist, and I've got to give credit where credit is due. Um, I first saw this on the Drudge Report, and you know the artist's name is a guy by the name of John McNaughton. And when I first saw this on the the Drudge Report, I'm going to pull this up so I can I can Google his name and get it up here. You know, why is it that whenever I want to do this during the show, it never works? Um, But anyway, so last night he was on TV because he had these paintings out. And one of the paintings depicts President Obama with a burning constitution. Now, John is out of Utah. And he has drawn incredible paintings with our founding fathers, incredible paintings of of religious scenes and moments. And he put, he has the most amazing website. I was on it for a couple of hours last night looking at these paintings. And one moves me in a story about what it represents, moves me more than any art that I've seen. So I asked him uh, off air last night if I can buy that painting. Then anyway, the, the big painting that he has is worth a lot. I mean, it's it's literally six feet long, about six feet long. And this one is just a normal sized painting, and it's called One Nation Under Socialism. Here's how his website describes this. It's a, pic- painted- hang on, it's a picture of Obama burning the Constitution with a burning Constitution in his hand. Go ahead. I painted a picture of Barack Obama. This is my pledge. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and not to an ideology which can never stand. One nation under socialism, divisive, with no liberty or justice for anyone. This November, you will make a choice. Will you choose one nation under socialism? That's how he describes the painting that I that we agreed that I would purchase last night, and we agreed on a price and everything. It was it, 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 the, the good thing is about this is you can get a print of it, and it's really not that expensive, relatively speaking, as far as art goes, etc. The one that and the Drudge had put this up, and I know it's deemed controversial, but I thought liberals like controversial art. The other one that I really loved was the first one that I saw in the Drudge Report, which is called The Forgotten Man. And it's a picture of all prior presidents. And then in front of them, there's Lincoln, there's all of our presidents. And, you, and the, the, the drawing is amazing. And then in front of them is Barack Obama with his foot on our Constitution and a guy sitting on a bench. And he calls it the forgotten man. And it's just, it's a powerful painting. And his description of it, if you go to his website, let me make sure I get this right here. Um, and well, first of all, we put the picture that I bought on Hannity with the description, if you want to go see it. And uh, let me just make sure I got it right. Oh, this thing won't go back to where I want. com. Now you're saying, Hannity, why did you buy such a provocative picture? Well, first of all, I liked it. That's number one. Number two, I came up with an idea. After I buy the painting, I'm going to contact the Brooklyn Museum of Art. I am going to offer this McNaughton painting on loan. Now, they like controversial art. They put up, you know, a picture of the Virgin Mary with elephant dung on the picture. And I think that you know, if I recall, part of our tax dollars went to this. And then I'm going to find all these places that ran Andre Serrano and the crucifix submerged in urine and all this other controversial art with the American flag and the U.S. toilet. Liberals defend all this. This is free speech. And I'm going to offer to loan my painting from John McNaughton. I'm going to offer it to all of these museums. And I'm betting they're not going to take it. They would view and they think it will speak volumes. And I want to hear what liberals have to say about it. Now we're going to do something. I can't tell you what we're going to do, but it's going to be on TV and it's going to come up, I think, next week. 
But I just wanted to give you it's the first it's the first piece of art I've ever purchased. One of the other things that he does amazingly well are his religious paintings. I mean, they're incredible. The paintings that he has. And um, I just I literally couldn't get off his website, stayed up late into the night last night. Just looking at it, his descriptions of it, his, you know, telling what he was drawing and write and, and painting. And, and it was just incredible. Um, and it just, you know, if if good art is supposed to strike a response, that's what liberals have often told us and get a reaction from people. And I don't think I could say it any better than one nation under socialism. As evidenced by the Supreme Court discussion today. Now, we'll get to that later in the uh, program. But if, if you want to go to my website, Hannity.com, the painting that I bought is up there. And then we'll link also to John's site and you can take a look at some of his other works. And as I understood his website, he sells prints of them. If you don't want to buy the original, you can get a really good print. And I think he frames it and signs it. As well, I'm pretty sure that he does that. Um, now.